So we were discussing about the bijection principle from combinatorics and this problem is easy but it's a very beautiful application of that. So in the Andromeda galaxy there are 1500 planets. There are 1500 planets in the Andromeda galaxy and they are having a knockout football tournament. Knockout means there are no draws. So no to no match can end in a draw and the loser is out so if you lose a match you're out of the tournament that's it the question is this the question is this how many matches are played in the tournament how many matches are played in the tournament before the declared uh, the winner is declared Now there is a bad way of doing this problem so I'll give you that first but you can pause the video and give it a try yourself maybe you can figure out the good way or maybe you can figure out the final answer even in the bad way okay so what is the bad way it's pretty simple what you do is you divide the 1500 teams into 750 teams and 750 teams okay and the in the round one you have 750 matches so the 750 losers will be out of the tournament the remaining 750 teams who were the winners in the first round they will play 375 matches between them and 375 teams will be gone the losers in the second round now 375 teams remain now we face a dilemma because we cannot divide 375 by 2. So maybe we make up a rule that the best performing team in this round 2 gets to rest. So maybe one team rests, one team rests and remaining 374 teams divide into two parts and play matches again. So maybe in round 3 you have 374 divided by two number of matches. Okay, so this keeps on going in the round four, then the resting team will come back and then you can divide, if you can divide it into two parts, then you can again do that and so on and so forth. So you count the number of teams in every round, you add them up and you get the final answer. It's a very ugly way of doing this problem. What is a good way? The good way is using bijection and I will remind you what bijection means. Bijection means there is a one-on-one -on -one and onto mapping between two sets. What are the two sets? The first set is the set of teams in our case, a set of matches in our case, because that's what we are trying to count. Set of matches, how many matches are played. So we are count, trying to count that set. So this is match one, match two, and so on. And the second, the second set, this is often the most hard part of the of a bijection principle problem. You have to invent the second set. So this is the second set, the second set, this mysterious second set is the one which is easier to count and to which the set of matches will have a bijection. Because then we will count this second set, which is easier to count and we will be indirectly counting the set of matches. You see what I'm saying? Because if there is a bijection between the set of matches with, with that set, then both of them will have the same number of elements. So this mysterious second set, what is that? Well, you can think about it. Pause the video here because I'm going to tell you right at this moment what that second set is and all the mystery will be lost. Or you can pause it and think about it and then check out if that's the same thing you're thinking. The second set is the set of losers. What do I mean by that? Because every match will have a corresponding loser. Think about it. If you if I give you a match, you can tell me precisely one team which lost that match. That's the one to one on to mapping. 
for every loser there is a match that it has lost and for every match there is a loser of that particular match that's the one to one on to mapping so if you count the number of losers in the knockout tournament it's a knockout tournament so no loser is playing a second game if you count the number of losers in the knockout tournament got it that's the number of matches so how many losers are there how many losers are there in that particular tournament there were 1500 teams and of course there is one winner so you can tell me what is the number of losers in the comment in the description it's very easy it's just one number and i could have said it but i want you to find it out and comment put the put a comment in the description and keep on doing great mathematics and come back to the next video maybe tomorrow okay take care bye